Warning, the following video contains nothing but stupidity. If you do not like comedy or want to keep your brain cells intact, do not watch this video. Hey guys, what's up? Pure Wolf here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a little proof of concept video, and this for a Traincraft train station. If you don't know what Traincraft is, uh, it's basically a trains in Minecraft. I'll leave a link in the description below. Basically, all this mod uses is Traincraft and then a bit of Railcraft, as you can see, both right here. Um, and we have tunnels and everything. Let me just quickly go through and just show you how this all works, and then afterwards I'll explain everything, show you the redstone behind it, and then we should be good to go. So basically, you just get in your train, and you start pushing it through. That's the only manual part of this, is the train has to start off moving. It'll go through this little tunnel right here, and then the train will head down the track into the station. Uh, it stops right up here on this little pad, and so if the train had cars, it would stop at the station, passengers can get on and off, and that's basically the main purpose of this, in order to add a sense of realism to the server, or if you have a Traincraft server like Riggs64's, um, he's actually an awesome YouTuber, you guys should check him out. But uh, yeah, this is also for a design like that, maybe transporting people, having an automatic railroad basically. But um, you just saw it, the train, basically the light goes off right here, and which symbolizes that the train is ready to go off, and then right after that, about two seconds later, the train actually starts heading off in the direction it needs to be. So basically how this all works is you have the train coming out of the regular train tra tracks, then it comes right here. The reason I have this tunnel is whenever trains switch from a regular uh, train craft track, uh, <laughs> train craft track, sorry guys, onto uh, the regular tracks from vanilla Minecraft, kind of gets a little wonky and the trains bounce up and down and stuff. So the tunnel's right here just to kind of and block that sort of line of sight, may look a little better, but you can obviously just take this off, get rid of it, whatever you want, if you want it to be open. It was just an idea I had in order to kind of block the view of that little wonkiness I have. And then right here, you have a, I think this is called a locomotive, like, speed detector or something. Basically how it works is if you have a crowbar, you can just right-click it and change the speed. So right now it's at 100%, so it'll come in right here at 100%. It'll go to this one, which turns it down to 80%. Right here, it'll blow its whistle whenever it passes over that in order to symbolize that the train's coming to the station. Right here is the pressure plate. I'll get into why that's there in a second. This just slows it down to 60, so it's coming in at a slower speed. Stops right here on this little block, which is the train stopping block. Then it accelerates down the track in opposite order, so it gets faster and faster. Goes through this other tunnel, and then it's off on its way. And then, of course, the lights here to symbolize the train's about to go. So uh, down here is the redstone. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, this redstone torch here is just powering the whistle track, so don't even pay attention to that. Uh, basically, what you need to know, pressure plate right here goes onto this redstone, goes right here, and then right here I have a reverter, uh, or at least that's what I hope it's called. Don't use redstone much, guys, I don't know the technical terms that basically just switches around the signal. So the redstone comes in here, switches that off, turn, goes through all of this redstone repeater junk right here, and then gets to this point right here. If you're wondering why I have all the redstone repeaters, that's basically just the delay between when the train hits the pressure plate to when this is actually activated to let it go off. Uh, then right here, I have this redstone, which, which heads to the track, turning on, letting the train pass. And then right here, this just goes right here. You may be wondering why it just leads to this block. Well, above it, redstone torch, that powers the little lantern right there, and in order to some train off. So that's basically all the redstone for it. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple to do. But um, I thought this was a cool little idea in order to try out. This is definitely for servers that... um. It's for servers, and also you want to just have an automatic railroad, make it more realistic, make it where you don't have to micromanage every little stop and everything. But uh, you guys should check out both these mods. Links to them will be in the description below, as I've already said. Thank you guys for watching this little proof concept video. You can obviously make this a lot more compact, make it more efficient, make it manual by maybe adding a button and then a piston switch in order to automatically send the train off and install it. However you want, you guys can use this idea and morph it any way you want. This is just a little proof of concept video. I hope you guys like these. I'm actually getting into Minecraft a lot more now. Uh, you guys may know that I took like maybe a two month break from Minecraft. I haven't really done anything since I took down my old server. But um, now I'm kind of getting back into it and I love building like this. And as the sun sets, 
I would just like you guys to tell me in the comments below if you like these ideas, if you want me to show you guys more little inventions like this and little builds. But, um, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Buh-bye.